welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Katrina Nicole. All of my social media, TikTok, Instagram, here on YouTube, you can find me everywhere at the Katrina Nicole. So remember to like, follow, subscribe. It supports me as a creator and it just helps me to know that you love me and you love the content that I'm creating for you all. So today we are doing something a little bit different. We're doing what is called a collective haul. And this is all with the theme of summer in mind. So everything that I've recently bought over the last few weeks have been with the intention of building my summer wardrobe and creating some pieces that work for me and my ultra curvy plus size body. And we're gonna get into this. So we've got things from Anthropology, Nordstrom, Ever Eve, Fashion to Figure, Mia is very unhappy with me. Um, Sephora and a few other places as well. So let's get into this. Up first, we've got a few things from Ever Eve. This is not a plus size brand. It is definitely a straight size company. However, I find that oftentimes their tops fit me very, very well. And I'm actually wearing one of their tops right now, which I bought both in this really gorgeous mustardy kind of yellow color. And I also bought it in black as you can see here it's just a very basic top it's slightly cropped it's a square neckline and i just really love how it fits on me i purchased both of these in a size large and it is the henry rib square neck tank is what it's called and it runs about for about 58 dollars so i really really loved how this looked on me as you can see it's just a very flattering neckline it hits my torso in the very perfect place where i love and i just love everything about it i love basics that can be worn together that can also be elevated that are timeless and staples for my closet and i really didn't have a lot of tees in these types of colors or in this neckline so i really really love this i think it is so good okay next in the bag is this ultra cute white top this is from a brand called nation it's in a size xl it's made in peru wow 132 dollars i didn't realize it was that expensive um but it's super cute i really really love how it looks on i will put this on for you all so you can see what it looks like but i love the one shoulder moment it's got kind of a linen um, ruffle on the top and then the bottom is a cotton material it just looks so good it's very very comfortable it's ultra lightweight it's great for summer and i love how it looks so this in particular for me is something that I will continually wear every single summer until it is no longer wearable and that is typically what I tend to do with my tops is I keep them for a very very long time and then because they are so much more timeless style pieces they last for many many seasons to come so yes I buy a lot of things but I do really love to buy high quality pieces as well that I can keep in my closet for years to come so I will also mention I got a couple of pairs of jean shorts from Target, which are so comfortable. So what I'm wearing right now in this mustard color and for the white top that I'm about to put on for you all, I'm wearing the jean shorts from Ava and Viv. They are no gapping jean shorts. They are $23. And I just bought them, I think about three or four weeks ago and they are so, so comfortable. So I have them in black and I also have them in a really light color wash. And to be honest, I hate plus size shorts right now. I feel like most companies do not have a great selection available yet and a lot of the websites that I really love to buy shorts from like Good American and DL 1961 all of their shorts are on wait list in the plus size category which I just think is like not okay because it's getting warm here and there are no options especially when it comes to a more higher price point option for plus size babes so if you're looking for shorts go to target spend the 23 bucks and you will thank me later moving on i bought some more tops from anthropology anthropology does sell plus size however both of the pieces that i purchased from here were actually from their straight size collection and i purchased one that i feel like is something that i'm going to wear to the gym and i could also wear it out and then another piece that's more of like a graphic tee i love graphic tees that don't have sleeves because i tend to wear jean jackets or things over the top of them and it just like the sleeves sometimes get annoying for me so let me show you all what i got from anthropology we have this really fun sweater it is from the brand daily practice this is in a size large and it's just like this really basic gray sweater it's kind of cut off on the sides but what i really love about it is that the back 
has this really fun ruching element. So it feels like something that I would throw on with a pair of leggings and just be super comfortable to go to the gym in. I might actually wear this tonight when I go to Zumba and it's lightweight enough that it's going to not be so hot. Like some of my other pieces are that are more for like a winter or fall moment. This definitely feels more spring slash summer. I also don't really own many things that come in gray, which is really surprising to me, but I loved how this fit. It's definitely a little more cropped on me and I like the detailing of the top as well again I love that ruching in the back I even love that it's got this kind of deep U neckline and the sleeves are ultra wide as well so this is super cute very comfortable this is more for a casual moment for summer so I love this I think it's cute the second piece I purchased was this really fun graphic tee it's a Def Leppard graphic tee from the brand Chasseur or something like that uh, this is in a size large and it was $64. I really, really love how light weight this is. It's just like, feels like a feather. It's very stretchy material and I think it's gonna be so cute to wear with a jean jacket or I can even put like a skirt on underneath and have my jean jacket over the top instead of with jean shorts. And I just really love how versatile this is going to be. I don't own any really vibrant graphic tees like this one. So this is definitely a stray from what like I typically tend to like when it comes to graphic tees. I typically like more neutral graphic tees or graphic tees that are black and white. Um, but I just thought this was really fun and it's such a different vibe than what I normally gravitate to. All right, moving on to one of my all time favorite brands, Athleta. I really actually strayed away from buying athletic gear from them this time. Athleta has kind of branched into a whole entire new segment that feels like athleisure, workwear, like you could wear it to work, you could wear it out kind of vibe. And I found a really, really cute skirt and a really fun, vibrant colored button down top. So let's just get into it. For the top, this is in a 2X. It's this really fun, vibrant, kind of sherbet orange top. It's very stretchy, so you can see that it's got that stretch to it, and it's just really well designed. I like to wear this with the buttons on top opened, and then I will tie a little tie at the bottom so that it's cropped, because you all know that I'm a cropped top Tana girl. And I just think it's really, really cute. This is, I don't even know how much this cost. This is called the Urbanite 2 Tank and it was $98. So I will say Athleta tends to be kind of in the higher range when it comes to like athleisure wear and athletic wear and work wear, but the quality is so good. It's definitely worth it in my opinion. And what I really love is that this is super lightweight, very breathable, as you can see, like you could pack this to be really, really small in your bag, which I personally love. And it also feels like it might be that wrinkle resistant style material. So I really, really love how this looks on. So mini skirts and skorts are totally having their moment right now, especially since there's such a nod to the Y2K movement that is happening. Everybody seems to be obsessed with all things 2000s right now and this skirt definitely feels just like that. I think one of the things that I have found to be really challenging with looking for skirts that are mini skirts or skorts is that I want them to be long enough to feel comfortable but I don't want them to be so short that like you can see my cheeks hanging out so that's where I feel like I've really had a little bit of struggles with trying to find a cute skort and or mini skirt that works for me and this one is perfect. I really really love where it hits my body. It's ultra comfortable because it kind of feels like a similar to like a workout legging or like a yoga pant but it does have a little bit of compression to it and of course because it's a squirt it has shorts on the bottom so I love that it's already got all of the built-in like compression and shorts and you don't need to wear shapewear with it it's ultra comfortable super cute and I can't wait to style this I think I'm gonna try to wear it with a graphic tee I might actually potentially Think about trying to style it with a Def Leppard tee. I think it's so cute, it's so fun, and it's gonna be perfect for summer, and I love it. If you watched my recent fashion to figure haul, then you would have heard me talk about the Gabby Fresh collection, and I mentioned in that haul that there were a few things that I ordered that did not come in, and this is one of them. It is this, oh my God, so gorgeous, yellow neon ribbed bodycon style dress. It's just so sexy. I love everything about it. It's got this really pretty braiding on the top, has a cutout that's gonna show your stomach. 
It's so gorgeous. It's ultra stretchy. It feels lightweight. It's perfect for the beach. It's perfect for going on vacation. It's perfect for whatever event or occasion, going to the grocery store, whatever it is that you're gonna be doing, it's perfect for summer. So I really, really love this. I love the color. I love how it's gonna look on my skin tone. And I just think it's going to be perfect for rocking in the summer months. I seriously need to plan a trip to Cabo because I have purchased so many pieces that give me Cabo vibes <laughs> since January. I have no vacation to Cabo planned as of yet, but this would definitely be something I would pack for that. I just tried it on, it fits like a glove. I'm so in love with the color. I absolutely love how it curves every single ounce of my body. It makes the peaches in the back look amazing. It's such a cute color on my skin tone. I feel like it's actually coming off a little bit lighter on camera, but it is truly this vibrant citrus yellow. It is so gorgeous, so beautiful, 10 out of 10 definitely recommend. Again, the Gabby Fresh collection from Fashion to Figure, every single piece, it's a banger. This one will also be staying in my closet. All right, let's get into what we got from Nordstrom, y'all. So I ordered a bunch of random things from Nordstrom. There was no rhyme, no reason. It was just like, if I thought it was cute, it added to the cart and I purchased it. So first and foremost, I have been eyeing this dress for months. This is from Ghani, which is one of my all time favorite brands and I just thought it was so beautiful and it is just as cute in person. Kind of goes really well with what I'm wearing underneath. It's got this gorgeous floral pattern. It's got ruching on the backside and throughout the whole entire dress. So it's supposed to kind of give you like that snatched look. This is ultra, ultra lightweight. It's like a mesh like material. So this would not be hot by any means at all. And I'm really, really hoping that this is gonna work for me. I believe, yes, this is $295. This is a size 52 which I believe is like their largest size that they have, which I think would be like a 3X in standard US size. So let's try this puppy on because, oh, she's cute. And I'm so hoping that this is gonna work for me. All right, we have the dress on. And while I'm so excited that it does fit me, it's ultra comfortable. It's just not quite my style. It doesn't feel like me. I don't feel ultra sexy in it. And it's honestly just a little too short for me. It doesn't hide my shapewear, which, that's kind of kind of the marker of where I like my dresses and skirts to lay is right where my shapewear stops. And this is just a little shorter than that. I think the pattern is beautiful. I do think that the colors look really good on my skin tone. I just, it's just not doing anything for me. If I'm gonna spend almost $300 on a dress, I wanna feel sexy and va va boom. And this feels like slight Eastery and also like, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. So, I love the material. I do like that it's super breathable. The ruching on it is really gorgeous. And as you can see, it's just just really vibrant color, but this is definitely getting returned. Unfortunately, this is gonna be a no-go for me. I love Ghani so much. And some of my all-time favorite pieces in my closet are from the designer. So this one is just a miss, unfortunately. Up next, we have this really gorgeous swimsuit. This is from a brand that is new to me and I was really curious to see if it would fit. Both of these are in an XXXL, so 3X, but sometimes I feel like when you order pieces that are in the XXXL, it tends to run a little bit different than if you were to actually order a 3X. So let's see how this will work. First off, oh my gosh, the inside is gorgeous. It's this really fun floral pattern that you would totally want to be like peeking out of the swimsuit. And I love that we've got some texture on the suit paired with like a little more smooth moment. And I think you can see that pretty well. It looks amazing. I love the little top. It does look a little small, but we'll have to give it a try and see. These are the matching bottoms. The bottoms are the thing I always get the most worried about. Ooh, y'all. I don't know if all the cake is gonna fit into these, <laughs> but we'll give it a try. So while I did manage to fit into the top, very barely, like it just, it doesn't do anything for me. It's making my boobs look very strange. One looks bigger than the other. The lining inside, I don't believe is removable, but it's bunched up in some kind of weird way. It's, it's just not doing anything for me. I do love the colors, but it doesn't work 
The bottoms did not fit at all. Like not even close to fitting. They're like a really thick style material with no stretch at all. So that typically just does not work for me. So this is a brand called Maji, M-A-A-J-I. Unfortunately, their XXXL, which would be a 3X, is not fat girl friendly. It almost seems more like an XL than it does even an XXL. So this is not a brand I would recommend. So the last two things on the clothing front are another pair of shorts. And then I got this really cute skirt from Free People that I also purchased in a purple color. And I have the purple color on right now. I love how it fits. But I think I'm gonna like the black better because black tends to be more my vibe. But let's try these shorts on and see how they work. So for these shorts, these are cut from the cloth. They are, I believe they're the Jane High Rise short. I didn't really see anything about the sizing online, but I typically tend to size up at least one size in shorts because sometimes I want more of that oversized style fit. So I purchased these in a 24 and I also purchased them in a 22. Um, my typical size right now ranges between a 20 and a 22 in jeans. So I don't know which one of these are gonna work for me, but I figured better safe than sorry. Let's just order both sizes. I will say right off the bat, they do feel a little shorter for me than what I typically like, but I do really love this like frayed detailing on the bottom of the short. I think the color is gorgeous and I really love the construction and how they feel, but I'm just a little skeptical because I think they might be just a tad too short for me. So I went ahead and threw on the shorts with the very first top that I was mentioning to you all, which is from Ever Eve. And I really love how the shorts look, but I was right. They are just like, I feel like a half an inch too short on the inseam, but I kind of feel like I want to keep them because they do feel like they're going to stretch and get a little longer potentially. You know how like when you wear a pair of jeans and then they get a little bit larger or they stretch out, I think they could work. These are super, super sexy. I love the distressing. I love the frayed material of them. They're just very, very comfortable, really well designed. And I think they're super sexy. Like I said, the only thing that I don't love is that they're just just a little tiny bit too short, but I mean, I think it's gonna be okay. So these I think are under a hundred. I think they run for about like $68, which in the grand scheme of jeans and jean shorts is actually really, really reasonable. And I really like how they look. They're definitely different than the ones that I purchased from Target. I think they do have a additional added element of design quality to them, which I think is what makes it worth the price. So I like them. Just wish they were a little more long, but I do think I'm probably gonna keep them still because I need more shorts. <laughs> okay, last but not least on the clothing front, we have a wrap skirt from Free People and I already tried it on in the purple as I mentioned and I really liked how it looked on, but I think I will like the way the black looks better because black is more my vibe. And this is in a size XL, it's $78. And this is kind of what it looks like. It's just like a really basic wrap dress. And it has like this extra piece of fabric that goes around in the front that just wraps around your body. And it's just really cute. It feels like it would be a great cover up as well as something that you could wear out. It's a very, um, like a medium weight knit material. I just love how it looks. And it is quite stretchy as well. So let's put it on. First impressions, I really love how it hugs my body. I don't even have shapewear on underneath and I love how it looks, which says a lot for the quality and the design of something. If you can get away with wearing something without shapewear, it's definitely a really solid piece to keep. I would love to wear this with that gorgeous graphic tee that I bought and then throw my jean jacket over the top and call it a night for just a fun dinner out with friends or like going on a date night. I think it would be so cute. And then again, this is something that you could also take with you to a trip somewhere where there's a beach and have this over the top of your swimsuit. I really love it. I have no complaints about it. I think the fit is great. The quality is great. It's very soft, but it doesn't feel overly warm and I love how it looks. All right, that's it on the clothing front. I have a few more things that I wanna to talk to you all about for summer, a couple of accessories, and a brand new scent that I just purchased from Sephora that I think are perfect for rounding out my summer wardrobe and my vibe for the season. So first and foremost, 
This is one of my all time favorite lip glosses. This is Summer Fridays lip gloss. It's their lip butter balm and it just keeps your lips so juicy and so supple for those summer months. I love the applicator. It's a silicone style applicator and it tastes I mean, it doesn't have a taste, but it kind of has a, like a little slight vanilla scent or feel to it. And I just love that it keeps the lips juicy. So this one goes in my purse. It stays in my car. I keep this with me everywhere because I love this so, so much. The next thing that I purchased from Sephora is a new scent. This is the newest scent from Ellis Brooklyn. It's called Sunfruit and it smells divine. I knew that I was gonna love this when I saw that it launched on Sephora's website because my favorite scent from Ellis in Brooklyn is called Sweet and I've officially run out of that scent. And this one is like a cousin or a sister to that scent, but this one feels a little more sensual while that other one feels very sweet and just very delicious. This one has like a different profile. So I will give you all the real tea on what I think it smells like. So the packaging is very similar to that of the one that is my all time favorite, which again is called Sweet. And I just love it. It gives me all the summer vibes and I'm so excited to use this scent for the upcoming season. So, mm, it smells so good. Oh, like I literally, oh my God. This is gonna be one of those scents that's a milkshake brings all my boys to the yard kind of scent because it's got that really fruity, pineapple-y, mango style scent to it. But then it has like a slight little musk underneath that I don't really know what it is, but it's like sensual and sweet, but summery all wrapped up in one. Oh my God, I love, this might be my all time favorite scent right now. I really love fruity style scents, but I love that this is fruity and sexy at the same time because I feel like a lot of brands have a really difficult time creating scents that are both fruity and sexy. Like sometimes you can get just the fruity scent or you get that really musky vibe. This doesn't give me like the musky vibe, but it does, oh my God, it's so good, yo, it's so good. I like cannot recommend this enough. It is 100 out of 10, definitely recommend for me. I love it. I, oh my God, I'm gonna be smelling myself all night. The last two things that I'm gonna be talking about are both accessories. One I purchased for my birthday and the other I also purchased for my birthday and they're both very big purchases, but they are definitely a part of this collective haul because I love them so much. I'm going to be wearing them all summer and probably into the fall and all seasons. But the first up is my newest ring, which this is the Cartier ring that is diamonds and the logo around the ring. It's a thicker style band. I really, really love it. I have been wanting this for quite some time. And when I went into the Cartier store and I tried it on, it was literally love at first sight. So this is something that I will be keeping for years to come. It's definitely a significant investment piece, but to me, it was 100% worth it. It was something that I knew that I wanted to purchase once I hit a few milestones in my life and I hit those and I'm very, very proud of myself and all that I've been able to accomplish. I really truly would not have been able to do all of the things that I do and live the lifestyle that I live if it wasn't for you and this entire community that exists here on social media and this was kind of a testament and like a little bit of a treat to myself to remember how far I've come and how much I have found great success and great friendship and camaraderie with all of you who are here with me along for this journey so I purchased this and then the other thing that I purchased was a Gucci bag this Gucci bag it's called the mini Diana tote and it is so gorgeous. It's the perfect size for me. It's my ultimate like everyday bag. It's the it girl bag right now on the market as well. Princess Diana herself rocked this bag back in the 90s and it's such an iconic bag that Gucci has brought back from their historical archives and I love it. It is so gorgeous. Let me show you all what it looks like. Here it is y'all in all of her glory. This is the mini Diana 
tote bag. I absolutely love it. I purchased it in this really gorgeous camel color. And the thing that makes this so iconic are the bamboo handles themselves. I was able to try this on in the Gucci store and I tried it on in several different sizes. And because I am a person who likes little style bags, that's why I opted for what they call the mini tote. This is still big enough to fit my phone, my credit cards, all of my chapsticks, lipsticks, everything that I would ever carry and need, it all fits in here. And I really, really love the way that it looks. The bag I purchased in particular is a part of their limited edition collection. And what makes it a limited edition piece is the fact that it comes with the iconic Gucci strap. This is the very thick Gucci strap that goes across. It actually makes the bag so comfortable to wear. I really, really love how this looks and I love it. What's also amazing about this though is that not only does the limited edition collection come with the large Gucci strap, it also comes with a matching mini tan colored strap as well. This is the strap that if you purchase the regular bag, it would come with just this strap and instead of both of these. But I really love this bag. Like I said, I think this is going to be one of my everyday bags that I'm going to be wearing all the time because I just think it's so gorgeous. It's so stunning. And I just love the nod to history. I love the color. I love that it's timeless yet trendy at the same time. And it's just so gorgeous and so beautiful. I also personally purchased different straps here that come in like this really gorgeous neon yellow. So if I want to switch these out, I totally can. I love how versatile this is. I just think it's so incredibly gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. It was definitely an investment piece. It's something that I will keep for years and years and years. I would hope to, if I ever have a daughter, pass this down to my daughter as well. I love it. I just think it's so perfect for summer and for the upcoming seasons as well. So. It's so cute, right? <laughs> I love it, I love it. All right, well, I think it's safe to say I am ready for summer. I have all of the pieces that I need. I've got shorts, I've got tops and dresses and tanks and all of the things in between. And I even have my summer scent and my accessories. And I'm so excited for all that is on the horizon for this upcoming summer because it's just gonna be a good one. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing my first ever collective haul with you all. I know it was a lot. I know we had lots of things to go through, but I truly am very excited about the vast majority of all of these pieces and I cannot wait to wear them and rock them for this upcoming season. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Everything will be linked in the description box below for you as well and I will see you in the next one. Bye!